Recently, we brought you the story of high school baseball player Jared Garcia, who is recovering from a rare form of cancer and has made his way back to the baseball field. Tonight, we introduce you to another extraordinary young man who happens to be fighting the same disease. And like Garcia, he hopes to someday return to the diamond. Standing at an imposing six foot three inches and firing a heater that touches 90. Nick Hurtado had the baseball pedigree that coaches crave, one that got him accepted to his dream school, Cal State Fullerton. And when they offered me the scholarship, I mean, I was just like, oh my gosh, yes, you know, like I can't, I'd love to be a Titan coach, and that was just like one of the best moments of my life. Then the Corona Santiago senior started having knee pain. I noticed him hobbling um, to the point where he was like an old, old, old man. And so I pulled him off the field and I said, look, until we, we get a clean bill of health, we need to get you checked out. You know, when there's two doctors coming in the room, you know, it's kind of like, okay, this is going to be kind of bad right now. So I braced myself and I'm just like, I'm ready to hear the worst news of my life pretty much, you know. And after he told me, okay, you know, I hate telling my patients this, but you know, you do have osteosarcoma and it's a rare case of a bone cancer. It's a very difficult process, and I generally say that the whole process from start to finish takes about nine months to a whole year. And this is really being taken out of your life completely. And you know, and the doctor told me, you know, it's, you're gonna have to stop playing right now and stuff, and I was like, it was, it was, a, it was a big shock, I mean, it always, it always gets me kind of choked up a little bit, you know, when I talk about it. It became the fight of his young life, but it would not be a solitary journey. When we first uh, were diagnosed with, uh, when well, Nick was first diagnosed with the situation, we say we because we include all of us in it, uh, the coach and I, Coach uh, Jason Irwin on our staff, had said, hey, we need to do something as a team, and we both agreed, and so we came up with the bracelet that says uh, together as one, and Nick Hurtado number 14, and it's just something that, that we've kept together, even though sometimes he's not with us in the game, he's always with us in spirit. Hey, here we go, big guy, let's go! Just a day before his chemotherapy began, Nick took the mound for one pitch and opened the shark season by throwing a bullet over home plate. The whole school had come out to see this, to see the first pitch, and it was probably one of the, we talk about coaching moments and that's the top for me. As a human being, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a situation where baseball took second, second place to this. And then when the blue called the strike, my buddy, my best friend Brandon Baxter, he came running out and he was a catcher and uh, Give me a big hug and say, we're going to get through this. Are you going to play baseball again? Yes. You know, I mean, I know there's doubts out there, but I'm going to play baseball again. I'm going to, it's, there's, there's no, the answer no is not in my head for that. I mean, it's just yes. Well, you were there for that. It's quite a story. Quite a story and, and just a remarkable guy. And he made a lot of parallels to baseball when we were speaking. He said, you know what, I'm a competitor and this is the biggest game of my life. And he said, sometimes you're gonna have a tough game, but you just gotta go out there the next day and give it another shot, so. Well, hopefully, if you haven't seen it yet, watch the Jared Garcia piece, Nick, because a year later he was back and he had bone cancer and we've got our bracelets <laughs> for NH number 14. <laughs> Best of luck to him.